What is up you guys? It's your girl Chanel Janae from Around the Way. Hey, hey, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I am not a makeup artist, so I just want to start out by saying that I am learning day by day and I am far from perfect. So please do not judge anything that you see me doing. But I'm here with a mermaid look. Maybe you guys are into Halloween. I'm personally not. I do not celebrate Halloween. However, I am going to do a Halloween costume um, competition at my job, and this is what we are going, my team is going to do. We're going to do mermaids. And, you know, I don't celebrate it, but I will take part in anything that's competitive. I love to win. <laughs> so, this is just a perfect look. If anybody doesn't know what to be for Halloween or if they want to do a, a mermaid look, here is a great idea in the hair too child but without further ado let's just get right into the video
Okay guys, real quick, I was gonna let this lie and just, you know, ignore it for the video, but I don't wanna do that. When you are doing your makeup, do your eyes first, especially with this kind of dramatic look. So you saw me previously or just now do my face and then do my makeup, my eye makeup, do not do that. Um, I actually did my makeup over just now and I started with my eyes first. I did the same exact look. So my eyes are now done, then I did my foundation, then I did my um, my highlight with my NARS concealer, and that is the way you want to do it. I just didn't want to lead y'all the wrong direction. the way I look just like this so I will say as part of the makeup look I could just go like this as a mermaid put some highlight on keep it real simple but we are gonna go all the way today y'all all the way <laughs> so now I'm gonna make a scaly look on my face so I have this shirt that's the perfect pattern that I want Try a few things. I'm gonna pin this. I'm taking the same brush I used to do the colors on my eyes. I'm gonna pull this. And first, I'm gonna go in with the blue. Then purple and then pink. Over, oh my gosh. You can see I got better as I did it. Um, this is my very first section that I did, so it could have been better as far as blending, but I'm still happy. you guys so I am so happy with my results now and I'm so happy that I didn't give up and I decided to do my video over the very first time I did this video I wasn't happy with the results and I was still gonna put it out and I thought to myself if at first you don't succeed get your butt back up and do it again okay so the difference though I want to know I want to let you guys know where I went wrong 
So the first time that I did the scales, I used this stocking cap. And I've seen, that's what this method is really called from what I understand, it's called the stocking cap method. So usually you'll see somebody put this on their head, pull it down over their face, and the pattern will be on their face scaly looking. The only thing is, you see how thin this stocking cap is and how thin the lines are? So I think that's why it didn't work. Everything just looked blended and looked real regular. In fact, I'm going to show you a video right now of how it looked, how my face looked. It just looked, it still looked okay. And if you don't have a stocking cap, feel free to just have your hair, have your face look like this because it still looked nice. It had the blue going into purple, going into pink on my face and I still liked it. It's just that that's not what I was going for. Now, what I did this time was I used a shirt. I was so desperate I used my shirt. And you see how thick the lines are, the material of this is. So the makeup didn't blur and didn't blend. So that's how we got this flawless, scaly look on my skin. And I was inspired by another young lady that I watched on YouTube. So I'm going to put her name down below. I'm gonna put her name down below. So I encourage you guys to go watch her. Let, let me know, compare. Let me know how well you think I did because I got it from her. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Show me some love, show me some support. And if you love how my hair turned out and you haven't watched my hair tutorial for this look, go ahead and click that video as well and leave any comments down below. And I will see you guys later with another freaking video.